In this video, we'll be discussing the important topics to cover for data mining and data warehousing subject. So the subject code is minimum IS643. So we'll be looking into the questions module wise. So I have compared the previous year papers and I've uh, drafted down these questions module wise. So I've also referred my internal papers. So yeah, starting from the first topic we have uh, that is the first module. First module is pretty easy and it has uh, a theory topics mostly theory and diagrams. Um, we have to focus on uh, those questions which have diagrams because it is easy to draw diagrams and uh, score, score marks, I would say. So, moving, starting with the first module, define uh, what is data warehouse list, uh, list out the characteristics of data warehouse. So, this could be asked for five marks. Then we have explain three tier uh, data warehouse architecture. That is the second question. This could be asked for 10 marks. Followed by that, we have uh, discussed on uh, ETL process. So, again, this is also an important question. Uh, it could be asked for 10 marks. Then we have uh, described the concept of uh, star schema, snowflake schema and uh, fact uh, constellation schema for multi-dimensional database with suitable examples. So this question is a must question I would say because uh, either they could ask two of the uh, schemas or they could they could ask all the three and uh, give it for 10 marks. Moving further we have compare and contrast uh, the differences between uh, database systems and data warehouse. Then we have write a note on online analytical processing uh, OLAP. Yeah, this is again an important one and its types. Then we have distinguish between uh, fact table and dimension table. So again it could be a 5 mark question. Moving to the second module, in uh, like if you refer the previous previous year papers, no, a few modules have been uh, updated. So if you refer uh, the 18 scheme or uh, before that also, not all the modules are same. In our 21 scheme, there are few topics which have been newly introduced. So make sure that you uh, know the syllabus properly and then accordingly study. So the notes for all the modules starting from the first module to the fifth module are available. So I will be uh, posting it in the description. Then second module, first question we have is describe the KDD and uh, explain about data mining as a step in process of knowledge discovery. Then we have uh, data processing steps or uh, what are the challenges in data mining, data mining application and data mining task primitives with example. So here I have clubbed three or four questions which are related to same data processing, data mining. So make sure that you uh, cover this properly. Then this uh, example, uh, so this problem was asked in internal. So illustrate a uh, similarity and dissimilarity between objects, find SMC and Jacquard coefficient and hum humming distance of two vectors. So the two vectors are given here. Next we have uh, explain OLAP data indexing for bitmap index and joint index and along with that uh, the differences between uh, ROLAP and MOLAP and um, uh, HOLAP. Yeah, so the service differences could be asked. Coming to fifth question that is considering these two uh, vectors we should find uh, uh, cosine correlation and Euclidean distances. Then we have sixth question that is uh, explain the data transformation techniques then uh, sketch the architecture uh, for feature subset selection. Moving on to third module, third module we have uh, standard questions here. So first one being the design FP growth algorithm and construct FP tree for the given data set. Data set would be. Next we have for a given transaction find all frequent intersect using a priori algorithm. So the data set would be given and we have to find, uh, we have to apply the algorithm here. And they have also asked uh, the association rules. So again this could be asked separately also for 5 marks. Then we have summarize the objective measure of interestingness for evaluation association pattern. Again an important topic. Then we have explain alternative methods for generating frequent uh, item set. Then along with that what is correlation analysis, explain left with example, then uh, explain computational complexity of a priori algorithm. Yeah, so this was about third module, moving on to the fourth and fifth module, I have clubbed both. So I have taken this uh, these questions from our uh, third internals, okay. So the first question is explain in detail about general approach for solving classification problem. Then uh, discuss briefly on K nearest, uh, nearest neighbor classifier algorithm with example. Then we have explained different methods for comparing classifiers. Then we have analyzed steps involved in a Bayesian classifier with example. Then fifth one is building the decision trees using ID3 and CART algorithms. So data set would be given, we have to uh, construct the decision tree using these two algorithms. Then we have a DB scan, DB scan algorithm with Simon space complexity. Summarize the basic approaches for, uh, basic approaches used for generating the agglomer agglomerative hierarchical clustering. Then defining again a DB scan, I have written it again, but uh, scalable clustering and its types. Then the last question is uh, uh, calculate k means for the given point. So here uh, the points are given and three clusters uh, should be considered. So these are the possible questions which could be asked for uh, the upcoming exam. I would suggest you to go through the notes properly, study the uh, uh, cover, cover all the important topics properly and not miss out any topic. And uh, yeah, I will be uploading the previous year papers, internal papers. The, the, this one, the important questions PDF and the notes also. Uh, make sure you go through all the content properly and uh, if you have any doubts, do let me know. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.